Yo, what's going on? We are in Phoenix, Arizona in the sunny, windy desert for OT7 season two. Last Sir. year it was OT7 season one, Las Vegas. This year, we bigger, back. better than ever. We back. This is the first divisional, first of four for the championship later. But today, we got an unbelievable matchup. We got deuces, uh, we got Trillion Boys. This is one of the best matchups of OT7. Oh I'm your man, Overtime Day. This is my brother. Yeah, destroying what's good with it, man. I ain't gonna lie. I've been anticipating this game all weekend, all week since they announced it, man. This is gonna excited. be an electric game. D, what are some things we gotta look for in this game? Man, so AJ Green left the Trillion Boys not on good terms, by the way, to start his own team with Tyreek Hill. These teams do not like each other, and the game could get chippy. Mm -hmm. Between both teams, they got over 34 and five-star athletes. It's the second year in a row that the Trillion Boys do not have an elite quarterback. Will that hold him back from going deep into the tournament this year? Let's find out Let's, on this episode of OT7, baby. <laughs> Let's find out. The horn's about to sound. It is time for kickoff. Trillion boys, deuces. Let's get going. Here we go. Money, man. OT7 season two. I ain't gonna lie, man. I got homies on, not on both. Teams. I know. So so oh, this, this is a personal game for you here. Today, it is. Huh? It is. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for deuces. Little known fact, but Trillion boys try to buy me and have me be they. AJ Green this week. Ah, uh, interesting, interesting. I was like, you know, I can't do that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, I can't do that. So that's deuces on quarterback first. That's completed the C, D, Gill. So, hey, before before we fully dive in, I'm gonna explain. Can you can you talk about some of the, like, why, what makes this a huge matchup? Man, so obviously, AJ Green, he started the Trillion Boys thing. I guess they didn't really part off on good terms. AJ Green does not like them. They talk crap online all the time. So AJ made a team with Tyreek Hill and a couple of the homies, Coach OTB, we got him coaching. We got Ross 500 coaching. Throwing deep. Oh, already. Touchdown! Teddy! Out the gate! Ryan, uh, Kyan Barry, the three-star. What a Big throw, money. what a catch. Big money. Wow. Man, already out the gate. I love this. Oh, no, it's coming back. It's coming back. Is it coming back? They calling it back? Is it coming back? Oh, no. Let's take another look. What a throw by Elijah Brown. The ref confused me for a second. He I know. Like, come back, I know. come back. But. So, so here's how the scoring works in OT7. Seven points for a touchdown. Yes, sir. The extra point is called a one-point gamble. You get one try from the 10-yard line. Oh, wow. If you get it, hold on one sec. Troy boys. Complete it. If you get it, tack on one point. If you don't get it, Ooh, so subtract a point. Mm. So they decide not to go for the one-point gamble. 7 nothing. We have a full running clock here at OT7. And Deuces is off to a fast start. Man, Trillion Boys pull up on a PJ again this year? Yeah, that's a good question. Heard them boys got some big money, man. Trillion Boys, it's in their name. Yeah. They're coming out hot, too. That's Micah Alejado. So they have the Trillion Boys have a couple QBs. Uh, Jack Supin, who you'll probably see in a little bit. This is Micah Alejado, the lefty, right now. I've seen a lot of players, like, wiping their cleats and kind of slipping. I don't know what it is, if the turf is loose or what it is, but guys got to struggle a bit to gain their footing out here. Hey, who are some of your favorite guys on this Trillion Boys offense? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not too familiar with any. I'm <laughs> just keep it 100. I'm not too sure. I feel like Deuce has stole all their players. Dropping back. Ooh, oh, what a play. That is almost picked off. That's Raymond Mosby. Georgia Tech offer. Oh, Miss offer. UNC offer. From Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. So this Deuces team is really from all over. And, and really both teams, Trillion Boys and Deuces. I was at the Trillion Boys tryouts. Oh, how was that? A couple months ago. How was that? A scene. Really? It was a scene. They held it at SoFi Stadium. What? Hundreds of kids showed out. Oh my God. I mean, it was it was intense. There was a lot of energy. Dropping back, Easy. complete. Easy. And we have first and goal. Nice little dirt round. Inside the ten. Cook that boy. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of ankles gonna be getting snagged today because like I told you, the turf is a little loose. So set your man up, cross him up. That's boy, not even. the ground. Excuse me, sorry there. Yeah, go on, D. That boy might touch the ground if, if you cross him up the right way. The turf is a little loose out yep. here, man. Hey, there's something about lefty quarterbacks. It's oh. just, it breaks my brain. The honestly. rotation is just, even catching from him, bro. The rotation is Touchdown. Just Easy. Easy. We have a tie ball game. 7 up. 
That is Elijah Lofton. Both teams shoot. Bow, 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 bow. A little, a little more methodical for Trillion boys. Deuces wants to air it out a little bit more. But uh, not, not a whole lot of resistance by either defense so far. Sir. See what Deuces comes out and does. I want to see Tyreek pull up, man. Where he at? I would love that. Where's he at? You got his number, right? Oh, come on, man. It's supposed to be his team. Dropping back, throwing right, complete. Ooh, bro, we see, we, we see more slipping, slipping here. This looks like the Super Bowl here. No. <laughs> but they was growing his grass for two years. Like the Super Bowl two? You heard about that? Yeah, I heard about that. And then, and then, and then when dude started tripping, the dude yeah, who grew like, the uh, grass, he threw he threw them all under the bus. He's like, you guys messed up my own grass. <laughs> Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? You got a special guest with us? I did have A.J. Green down here, but we're going to talk to him when the team's on defense because he's an offensive guy, all right? So we need we need some points for the Boy, team, and then, and then we'll talk to A.J. in a little bit, all right? We're coaching. We'll hear a little bit about the beef and everything like that. Of course, of course. Boy, is a shifty. A.J. on Brown with the grab. So this is Elijah Brown under center for Deuces. And I saw Elijah Brown up close this year. He is unbelievable. He, he, he plays for Modern Day, number one team in the country in Southern California. Modern Day is right there. Rising junior, and 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 he's all that. Didn't Bosco beat him this year? <laughs> Bosco did. Oh! Oh, yeah. Complete. Oh, yeah. A dangerous oh, pass yeah. completed. And he, did he get touched? It don't look like it to me. Put you on point with the first down. Three star with a Bama offer in his pocket. I love the little uh, the deuces uniforms. They're really Phoenix -y. Got the Suns. It says America's team on it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Cowboys fans, close your America's eyes. America's team. <laughs> Who gave him that? Brown looks right, looks over the middle, and complete. Guys are slipping, man. Just drilled the camera. Guys are slipping. Seven all ball game. Yeah, you're right, by the way. Don Bosco did beat them. Uh, but modern day rolled up until that point. Yeah. Uh, and they won states. I think they got a new coach, too. They did. Their old Their coach. Their old coach was coach for like 50 years. Yeah, man. he was there for, I believe, 23 years. Yeah. I was at I was at his last home game. He was crying his eyes out wow. on the field. He's a winner, though. Brown, incomplete. Oh, flag. Pink flag on the field. We don't throw the yellow flags. We throw pink flags out you. Pink flag. Pass interference. Calling Jalen Crawford, four-star DB. It's so funny watching DB celebrate, throw the straps up and all that, then they look at the flag. No! What? No! <laughs> that, that pisses me off, too, but I got to say, I thought he timed it up nicely. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Unless they're calling it on the first guy. I agree. I'm not a ref, though, but I agree. Oh, I, sorry, I'm a ref, so, you know, I gotta, <laughs> you know I, I'll throw I, my I'm two cents I'm going to ref school right now. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good video Imagine waiting to happen. That's Imagine? a good video. I'm going to have to go to ref school. Brown rolls right, looks back over the middle. Hell no. Incomplete. Incomplete. We have third down coming up third here. Third down, money down for the deuces. So just a reminder, only three down. So this is this is essentially fourth down yep. for the deuces money offense. Money down, money down. Ooh, ooh. The whole crowd is here watching too. Second down, our uh, mistake. Yeah, excuse me. I, I take back everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everybody left every other game and is wanting to watch this. Brown spikes it. Smart play, smart play. Now we got third down. Third down. Money down. Third down. Ooh. Third down. Third down. Ooh. Third down. Money down. Ooh. Start rapping for y'all, man. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Need to make some shake big, right here. Big play in this game with 14 and a half minutes left. Need to make some shake right here. Third down for Elijah Brown. Here comes the blitz. Come Throws on. it right. Drop. Incomplete. Tack on two. And now they're going on offense. And now they're going on offense. Man, there's really big point swings in OT7, man. I love it. I love it. Zion Ferguson, the four star with the breakup. LSU commit. Brian Kelly's got a good one. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Well, well you're right. you got to say, you gotta say it like Coach O, you know? Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> Left Drop it back. Fly. Going deep. He's got his guy. Oh, Touchdown. Man. Big 
Trilly Money. Trilly. Xavier Jordan. Big Trilly Money. Wide open. That boy got USC and Oregon on the list, too. There's a reason why. There's no one's reason. within five yards of him. You there. see what number he wearing, too, right? I heard that has a little significance number in your life. Number baby. Yes, sir. What a throw. Wow. On the money. Trilling boy's on fire right now. Tack on seven. Deuces, man. Let's see what they do, because, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of animosity in this game. And for the fact that AJ left his first team, now with deuces, and if they get beat by the Chilling Boys, I mm. think that might crush them a bit. Storylines. Yeah. Storylines. We leaking the script right now. <laughs> That's complete to C.D. Gill. This is now K.J. Lacey taking over at QB for Elijah Brown. Has a Bama, a Bama offer in his pocket. Same with OU. Same with Tennessee. If I'm him, I'm not going to Tennessee, though, with, with our boy Nico Yamaliava. Yeah. That's the one that's the behind that. Being there as a freshman. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with A.J. Green, coaching Deuces. He used to be with Chilean Boys. What happened there? Long story, man. Long story, short. It didn't work out. We wanted different things. Is that why this game mean a little bit more than the other ones? For me, for me, this game means just shutting them up. You know, because if we win, I'm dead in it. I'm moving on. They win, I ain't going to hear the end of it. Mm. You know what I mean? They've been talking a lot. What? They was, I found out we was playing them from a bunch of 10-year-olds in my DMs. I didn't even know we was playing them. You're going to pull out a win, you're down right now. Say it again? You're gonna pull out a win, you're down right now. Yeah, one more time. Are you gonna pull out a win? Because you guys are losing right now. Yeah, I mean, I, as I'm talking to you, I just watched, I just witnessed a wide open wheel route. I wish he took it, but he didn't see him. But you know, we need to win. Right now, we're good. We get a score, we get a stop. We still got that money drive to depend on. We got the money drive. I love it. AJ Green, back to you guys, all right? Thank you, Tom. Th man. Thank you, AJ. Man, man, I love his energy. I love that guy. AJ throwing right, touchdown. In the. Adrian Bryant, three-star wide receiver. Do they go for the swing or do they? Nah, I don't look like that, nah. man. 14, 16, baby. They get a stop on defense. It's a tie ball game. They get to pick they up. So defense, we got Coach OTB leading the defense right yep. now, man. We need some. We need some points. Trillion boys will go back on offense with a two-point lead. We got a good game here. Nah, that's a great game. 11 minutes left on the clock, too. Looking, le uh, looking over the middle, play. a little dump off. They love that play. I'm not going to lie, just between me and you here, D, so, I hate that little dump off play. No, it's boring, but it's effective. They don't care if oh. you like it or not. Man. They hey. care if it gets oh, the first down man. and gets some yards. Hey, any seven on seven QBs who are listening to this right now, come on, man. I don't hate any time they run the ball in the NFL or call anything, unless it's a big run. The runs are so boring. A little two, three yard pile ups, like, you know, I'm with you. It's kind of like the same deal right here. And kicking field goals, too. Hey, chill out. <laughs> chill out. Chill out. <laughs> How would you like to play for that coach who never punts? I don't think he kicks too many field goals, either. I'm transferring. <laughs> I'm transferring. Coach who never punts. You've probably seen the I'm show on, on the Overtime yeah. channel before. I'm going. I'm transferring. Dropping back, back over the yeah. middle, complete. Oh, man, it's looking very trilly today. Back to Donovan Alu Alubode. It's looking very trilly. That boy got a Colorado offer. He might be over there with. And a Georgia Dion. offer. Who you picking, Georgia or Colorado? Mm. That's tough. tough. That's tough. You know, Colorado is going to be the only game, only spring game broadcasted on TV. As it's they should be. That's crazy. For the you same reason that we know about it, we'll be watching it. Exactly. <laughs> Might be there. Who knows? You probably will be. Dropping back. Yeah. Throwing left. Touchdown. Is that my guy, number 11? Man. Xavier Jordan and the Trillion Boys extend their lead. Man. 23 to Micah Alejado. Trillion Boys look good, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Trillion Boys are looking really good. Deuce's defense? I don't know, man. Butter. 23-14 game, just under nine minutes left. That's Elijah Brown back in at QB. We see guys slipping all over, over the middle. Complete! What a catch! He throws up the deuces! Attack on seven! They throw oh, baby! Flag. No way. You can't no, throw a flag don't throw, for that. Are they going to say toss? Excessive it's celebration no, or whatever. There's no excessive celebration. Bro, their name is Deuces, oh, man. Oh, come on, man. Their name is Deuces, fam. What? 
Cheyenne Berry, the three star. Here's another look at that one hand. Look, my Maggie. one hand. Oh my God, I don't need to. Hey, Tom. Uh, we need an ex oh, Tom. We need an explanation on that on that excessive celebration. Thanks, guys. Hey, I'm down here with the ref, Paul. Do. What's the penalty for? We got a sportsmanlike conduct taunting on the receiver. Oh, uh, live ball play. Ooh. Uh, called as a dead ball. They're the deuces, so he threw up the deuces. He did, but you can't point it at the defender though. That's taunting. Well, I think he's pointing it at you know the whole entire group. Uh, that that may be true, but for my vision, he was pointing right at the DB who, who covered him, who he just topped for a touchdown. Next time, you want to let it pass? I can't do that. Who <laughs> uh, that come man? On. Come this on. is seven on seven football. Come on. Their, their team name is Deuces. Deuces. It's on the logo. Make it make sense. I get it though. I get it. Complete over the middle. What do you think is gonna happen? We got seven minutes left. I scoring game so far. 23-21. I'm thinking whoever's gonna have the ball last. Yeah, for real. And both teams still have the money drive in their pocket. Oh, we'll man, we'll, we'll explain that more in a little bit. But if you use your money drive, you get each team gets one a game. That's ten points ten you score. Points. So I'm expecting after this drive, no matter what happens, both teams are gonna. You gotta let it fly. You know, you can't take you it home. Gotta let it you. fly. You gotta let it fly. Really, boys. Trilly, trilly. Like the Ale Hado. Last year, oh my God. Complete. I'm Touchdown. telling you, bro, the turf is putting a lot of these guys out, man, because he slipped right there. Number seven came open. Got in. Donovan Alupode does it again. I might do that in Colorado. Let's take another look. Yeah, I mean, tough to play defense yeah. today. Tough to play defense. I mean, Donovan's getting over, getting open whenever he wants. What do you think these guys got to do to keep their footing there? <laughs> play zone defense? <laughs> <laughs> Can't do much, man. Can't do much. Deuces has to respond on all This is KJ Lacey back in Deuces for Deuces. Complete. Be short of a first down. A lot of guys on the ground. Flag on the ground as well. Little pink flag. We should petition to change all the flags in football. Department. At least they're, do they still do uh, breast cancer awareness, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got they the pink cleats. They should do that. Pink headband, pink, the pink armband. Yeah. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, I'm down here with one of the Chili Boys coaches. What do you think about the, uh, the refs so far? Um, I'm going to just say composed. Uh, calls go both ways during the call of the game. We'll be fine. Now you and AJ. AJ used to be part of the squad. What happened there? Uh, just uh, disagreements over some different, uh, I don't know, ideas or whatever, and just want to do his own thing. You want to get this win tonight, today, specifically for that a little bit? Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely bred a natural rivalry. I know you're getting serious. Let's get back to it. He did not want to talk to me earlier, but he gave me a little bit of time. I appreciate that, Coach. Back <laughs> to you guys. Sounded kind of hostile, man. Yeah, well, just, a up, man. just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, T Tom always gets the sound bites. This is KJ Lacey who's back in, and I don't know if you've noticed, Steve, but anytime Lacey's in, he's looking for his man, C.D. Gill, Four. number three. A little 5'5", 150 action. Over the middle, that's complete. C.J. Hurd. Down to the five. Sorry, Kyan Berry, excuse me. They got Kyan three number Pepper. ones on their team. I am Pepper. Now, D, let me ask you. We got a dude with a chef's hat on his head. No, no, I've been seeing him going crazy, dancing and cooking back there. Uh, he's, he's been all over the place. He looks like he's vlogging. Is he a part of a team, or he's like a mascot? Looking over the middle. Touchdown. Putty. The Putty. aforementioned C.D. Gill. Putty. Seven produces. Man, these guys don't miss. I think there's only been one drive where nobody has scored. I mean, the defense came back with two, but yeah. 30-28. Deuces need to stop. Interesting game. Chilean boys back to work. If they go for 10 here, they can kind of put the ball game on the leash. But if, oh, well, yeah. well, well, they're not using the money drive, so we'll, we'll hold on to the rules for a little bit longer. Normal drive here. Alejado back to work. We got, I believe, a I defensive that. holding. I see that. I saw that from a mile away. He hugged him. Yeah, he did. 
All right, well, he did what AJ said. <laughs> Three and a half minutes left, two-point game. Trillion boys had the ball. What do you got winning? I'm going to rock with deuces, man. I got the numbers on deuces. I like the roof for the underdogs, too. They're down right now. They're not really underdogs. Who would be the underdog in this game? I don't even know, but I'm rooting for the people who are down right now. I need to see it come back. America's team. America's team. America's brother. team. America. America's team. <laughs> you know what? I'm fine with calling them that because it drives me nuts America's that the Cowboys team. call themselves America's yeah. team because you got to win to be America's You're team. You're thinking more of the Patriots. But... That's complete. Oh, sir. Oh, man. Donovan Aluk Bode. He's been going crazy. I think I've said his name 15 nah, times. He's been going crazy. He's unstoppable. He's Chico for them right now. 2025 from Chicago, 6'2", 175, and they cannot stop him. Look at this fade wrap. Mm. 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 Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful, mm. dog. Man, this has been a very exciting game. That's it. Alejandro and Aluk Bode have been on the same page uh -huh. all day. I know that 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 was that was my Spanish right there. Who? Where is it? Alejandro. QB for Trilly. Alejado looking left. Over the middle. Oh, oh, no flag. No flag. No flag. I seen it right here. He had his arm wrapped around his hip. Fully turned him. They need to give a broadcaster flag. We should be allowed to throw one flag. We should. We should. Hey, one whoever's listening to this in the production truck right now, Get we, need, flag, we need some flags over here. We got the arm to reach the field. I would have threw that one. That is intended for Xavier Jordan. Four star from LA. Ayahato back to work. Easy. Just picking up the first down. Easy. I love your that's your favorite play right there. You know what? If you if you need the first down, it's just a little get me over for the first down, I'll give a free pass. If you're doing that to start the drive, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, show some show, show, show some respect to the game. Is it working? If it ain't broke, do not fix it. First and goal. Trillion boys looking to tack on. Just over one minute remaining. Deuces need to stop desperately. Alejado drops back, looks right, hands it off. Oh. oh. That's, the, that's the first run of the day. Each team gets two runs. Looks like they're kind of just going to let this clock go. Well, we got a timeout here by Deuces, but. I feel like they might have learned someone that run not to run it no more because the floor is so slippery. As a running back, you can't really cut. Is it a timeout? Does the clock stop? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll reset the clock. On our end, the clock. I got to say, both QBs have impressed me a lot. Yeah, now they've been balling. Both teams have been balling. Both teams have been balling. Alejado for Trillion Boys. Alejado. Alejado. Uh, and, uh, and KJ Lacey and uh, our guy Elijah, Elijah Brown. All three have looked great today. They've been doing their thing, man. I ain't going to lie. This is, this is a good matchup right here. I wouldn't be mad if this was a championship. Not at all. Under a minute left. Two-point game. Now, if Deuces gets a pick here, if Deuces gets a pick, That's that would make it a 30 to 20. Uh, that would make it a 31-30 game. Now, Trillion Boys also has one more run in their pocket. Each team only gets one timeout. Do you think they're just going to run the ball to run out the clock and that'll be it? It's that like the guy who takes a knee in Madden, you know? They got a running back right next to him. Maybe smart. I think so. I, I bet that's what's happening they here. They call the timeout. First down, Cha update okay, the clock, 55 seconds. seconds. This says 20 on our end. So at least that gives it a little bit more life. Yeah, now, see, now they want to change. Now they want to change the call. Mm -hmm. Now that more there's some more time on the clock. Chest, chestnut checkers. A lot of stop this game. 30 to 28. They got a free timeout just now, or what? Or did somebody call? Uh, I believe that was just uh, changing Officials the clock. timeout. Yeah. Hey, Tom, uh, I have a question for you. There's a guy with a chef's hat down there. Uh, what is up with that? What's up with the chef? Uh, so if y'all see the outfit, it's I actually came out in the chef outfit because we're meant to cook them. You know what I'm saying? So we out here cooking. I brought the hot sauce for that too. Um, so yeah, that's the whole thing with the chef hat and the. You, know, you don't wear this every day. Um, 
maybe when I sleep, um, it depends on the weather. If it's below 55, I might put it on. An interesting choice. And then the last question, you and AJ Green, what, what, uh, what are your terms right now? Um, AJ is somebody like I was actually inspired by to actually create content. Uh, so I'm really cool with him. I, I thought you were going to say something negative. We got 55 seconds left, so, so we'll close man. this one out, all right? Hey, hey. All right, here we go. Oh, false start. Are they calling a false start or an offside? Uh, false start or offside? Who's it on? Who's it on? Oh, they moving them. Nope, they're calling it offsides. The coach for the Trillion Boys is very passionate. He coach. almost bit one of the players that <laughs> <laughs> That's Coach Josh Stupid, who Tom talked to earlier. Yeah. He was not in a yeah. choking mood today. Now this game means a lot to him. This game means a lot yeah, to him. Yeah, in case the interview wasn't enough, you just had to see him <laughs> barking right there. Damn, to think I could have been a chilling boy right now. Pour one out. Pour one out. Could have been a boy. I, you know what? I'm, I'd rather have you oh, in the booth course. here with me. Of course, of course. 30 to 28, 55 seconds left. Looks like they're dialing up the blitz here. That's Alu Bode in motion. Here's the blitz. Dumps it off. Got him. Got him. Down at the four. Got him. Third down. We have a big third down. Big third down. Now the clock is going up. We have people yelling. It's chaos on the field. What hey, hey, Tom, whenever clock. you get a second, I'm going to need a breakdown on this. But, uh, what is up with uh, the clock? Well, you know what? We'll, we'll let him figure out. Tom, what, have you heard anything of what's going on? What's going on right now, man? What's up with the clock? We won already. You say you won already? We won already. How you feel about deuces? I mean, they talked a lot of Instagram stuff. You feel me? I'm not an Instagram type of guy. But for a grown man, <laughs> oh, to do who's the grown man? AJ Green. Talked a lot on Instagram. Yeah, hey, you feel me? I mean, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I just play ball. But hey, social media. I don't, I don't like social media people. Who's talking the most on your team? Uh, everybody wanted the challenge. We really wasn't posted on. That was him and his squad. All right. Well, we'll see if we can get this clock. Something's wrong with the clock. But we're gonna get back to this. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you, Tom. That was. Except for a grown Jordan. man to be talking online. Damn, shots fired, AJ Green. He says he doesn't like the whole social media thing. I'm not a really social media guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and D took that personal. <laughs> you thought hey, he was man, just gotta, talking about AJ. I got to pay the bills, oh, man. <laughs> I got to pay the bills, man. <laughs> Damn, shots fired. We got 35 seconds. They said they Clock won already. Running. Don't sleep. It, if there's a pick right now. Third down. This is the game. Goes to the left, over the middle, oh, yeah, touchdown. Yeah, he called game, game. two. He game, game blouses. Xavier Jordan. He called Yo, game. Yo, that's who we just talked to. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, man, we already won anyways. <laughs> Tom got the exclusive, and Jordan delivered. Are they going? They going for the extra. Oh, not yet. They have to. They have to, because let's take another look. Because check me out. Them boys could go for the money. Yeah, we saw no money drives. Yeah, that is a great throw, a great catch. Clock's still running? Nah, the clock ticks down to zeros. And the trillion this boys. Stops after point after. Oh, oh, it stops after point attempt. I'll, I'll pause on the call. Pause on the call. Oh, that's game. No, this game's game. done. To the pit. pit. Oh, Chili boys, oh, 37. God. Deuces, 28. Man. Is the beef settled? I don't know. Is the, is like the AJ settled? said, they're never going here to end of it now. Both quarterbacks showed out. Uh, we saw a lot of slipping from the both defenses, teams, but both offenses were dialed in. I was impressed by Xavier Jordan. That boy balled the hell out. Xavier Jordan looked he great. Game. He called game. He's like, man, we already won. Runs Don in, catches a touchdown. Donovan Alubode with a couple touchdowns for Trillion Boys. And you know what? Deuce's, off Deuce's offense looked great, too. Nah, Deuce's look great, man. Deuce's look great. You know, that's the homie, so I'm going to crack on him after this is all said and done. But at the end of the day, they both played a great game. Both teams did their thing. And I think this is the birth of a great, great, great little rivalry, man. The, the Deuce's offense, I mean, Elijah Brown looked great. That KJ Lacey to CD Gill connection, the, the Sarah Land, Alabama teammates, they looked great. You know what? I was impressed with both offenses, and I'm excited to see what they do come bracket play. 
Man, Tom, Tom, you got something for us down there? Hey, I'm down here with the... Yeah, we can walk and talk, of course. You were talking a little bit at the end of that game. What's everyone saying? Nah, man, I'm just telling the safety he just needs a little bit more development, man. Tell him I had three touchdowns on him. He needs to get off the pass faster. That's it. Nothing new. So you're coaching him up a little bit. That's very nice of you. I help his game, man. That's it. Really good guy. You're a really good guy. Now, you were saying that the game was over, and then two seconds later, you caught a touchdown. Did you know that was going to happen? I didn't know that was going to happen, but I told you, I play ball. I make plays. All right, now, deuces, are they going to shut up now? Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully they shut up. I'm going to shut up too, boys. Great game. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom, for destroying for overtime day. It's been a pleasure. Trillion boys get the win over deuces. Stick with us. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll be here all weekend. That's it for me. That's it for D. Out of here. Peace. So. Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Yo, 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 we are in the desert, baby. It is season two of OT7, the best seven on seven tournament in the world. Last year, we crowned our first ever champion in Vegas. This year, we are back bigger and better than ever here in Arizona, first of four divisionals. We're here in Arizona, first game, SFE and the hometown AZ Dolphins. I'm your man, Overtime Day, and I'm joined by my brother. Young Destroy, what's good with it, man? Destroy, how you doing, man? I'm amazing, bro. I'm excited to be out here. The weather's nice. It's a little breezy. We're going to see how it affects the quarterbacks, but I'm excited to watch these boys ball, man. D, what are some things we got to look for in this game? Man, SFE might have the best wide receiver core in this whole entire tournament. They've got three five-star receivers, Winston mm -hmm. Watkins, JoJo Trader, Jeremiah Smith, and boys could ball. They lost Malachi now, so he's at USC, so they got to rely on their three-star quarterbacks to do their thing today. But this is a David versus Goliath battle. The AZ Dolphins, they've been doing their thing for six years, 20 trophies under their belt, but none of their players got any D1 offers, man. It's crazy. It doesn't matter in seven on seven. I'm excited for it, and I'm excited for our own overtime Tom to join us. Tom, what's going on down there? Thanks, Tommy. fellas. Hey, down here with Coach Williams, the reigning champs of OT7. How are we feeling going into tonight? Everything's going great, man. We just get a win, you know, do what we do. A lot of people say you got the most talent in the country. How do you kind of balance all those guys? Everybody loves to compete. You know, everybody friends, everybody know each other. So, you know, when, when one come, they all come. Best team in the country? Yes, sir, by far. Ooh. All right, let's see it. All right, let's go back to you guys and get, get the game started. Ooh. Appreciate it, Tom. Ooh. SFE is ready, AZ Dolphins are ready, and we are underway here in Mesa, Arizona. OT7, yes, first sir. divisional, let's get it, dude. Them boys sound like they trying to go back to back, man. SFE, the reigning champs of season one out in Las Vegas, and here we go. You hear the horn. Ball game, first game, let's get it. As Jaden Glasser oh, yeah. under center. Oh, 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 That's completed. Oh, oh, and more. Oh, he's still going. And he more. hasn't been touched. <laughs> Lewayne McCoy. That boy is shifty, man. Lewayne McCoy, 30-yard gain on the first play of the game. Dang. Hey, they coming out the gate, hitting. Now, D, you mentioned it in the open. It's windy out here. Nah, it's very windy, bro. Our papers are sitting here flying around. We got to use water bottles and <laughs> staplers as paperweights. But, man, I want to see how it affects the quarterbacks because if they plan on taking deep shots, you know, this is 7-on-7, seven seven, so that's all they love to do. They really got to play this win today. Got three receivers split out left. Little trips on the left. Glasser looks right. Scans. Nope, time. Time. Shot clock. And now go to second down. Oh, Good man. defense from the AZ Dolphins. Yeah, if these boys hold it down, they could what? Two points off the turnover on down? Yup. Three if it's a pick. Yup, so two points on turnover, three points on pick, seven points for a touchdown. Heard, we'll get into that a little heard, more later. I heard we got a special little money drive. We Ooh, do, man, we I'm do. Excited to see we'll, that. we'll get to that. Now, you mentioned it before, D, but this AZ Dolphins team, has no college commits. That they they matter, have no man. college commits on their defense. It's always hard over off. Oh, did he score? Winnie? Winnie and he's was it. the first one. Up Winston Watkins. Let's see the Sellies. That's man. seven. I'm excited for the Sellies. What they gonna do? Oh, kick the toe down. Oh, 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 oh. 
We had some. I don't even know what that was. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I respect the the pre-planned choreography, but I don't know what that was. It was a little shit. They got to work on that a little bit more. Seven nothing for SFE. So you see the graphic there. The first uh, when you score, it's seven points. You then have an option for the one point gamble. You can. That's from the ten yard line. It's the Dolphins drop back. Don't. If you don't right. complete it, you, you lose a point too, right? And if you don't get it, you lose a point. So it's a one-point gamble, two-point swing. Uh, but they just took their seven there, and, and they're back on defense. I like so. the OT7 rules. They're, they're pretty cool. They're new, they're different. They spice the game up a little bit. Make like, you make some decisions, you know? Like them, man. You got to be really careful, really thoughtful of what you do. I want to see the AZ Dolphins do their thing. I'm rooting for them. The Dolphins. That's Mason Bray for the Dolphins under center. He rolls out to the right again. That's completed. Okay. All right, a little first, first down, a little momentum. Down. First down, don't count the Dolphins out, boy. Hey, D, last year, the low pro team, they oh, had they had, oh my they had no high-end prospects. They had children playing. They had a bunch of eighth graders, and they upset the Miami Immortals. So that tells Man. me this AZ Dolphins team, it doesn't matter if they don't have any top prospects. Matter. They can make noise. Anything can happen any given Saturday. All right, now let's talk about these jerseys real quick. Which which team's jerseys do you like more? I like SFE. It looks more put together. I don't know. AZ Dolphins, they got the pink, which is all right. I'm not a huge pink fan. But I don't know. SFE got a little more drip to me, man. And they all got the custom cleats. Yeah, of course. They just look a little better to me. What about you? I'm going to go with SFE, too. The AZ Dolphins team looks a little bit like the Immortals. Yeah. But I do like the Miami Vice. Like their whole swag. Yeah. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Winnie. Scored the first touchdown of the game. What we got going on right now? Shoot, really just balling out today. It's my birthday. It's my party, you know what I'm saying? 027 on birthday party this year. I want a birthday party for Winnie. Happy birthday now. I know you're going to Colorado with Coach Prime. What's Dion been like for you, you know, kind of coming up? True, influential figure to me, you know what I'm saying? I've been looking up to him since I was a kid. My nickname, Winston Ponton Walker Jr., you know what I'm saying? So he's just a big influence on me. He's going he, he gonna to always be influence on me. It's Dion. Winston Prime time. Maybe the best nickname out here right now. Back to the game, all right? Appreciate it, Tom. Um, happy birthday to Winnie Watkins, the Colorado commit, four-star from Fort Myers, Florida. And we got a third down here for the AZ Dolphins. Third down, that's a big one. All right, so we've seen them roll out right almost every, every play. Time. You think they're going back to that here on third down? Of course. No, I don't know. He oh, he's left. looking left. Yeah. Oh, no, it rolls mind. right. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that's his bread and butter. Looking for his man. Touchdown! Touchdown. AZ Dolphins. Got him. And to the pit he goes. Splash. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever charged the refill. Oh, and one more for good luck. Newbie had to get some love, uh, too. We have a tie ball game here. 7-up. No soda. I want to see somebody go for the two-point swing. I want to see that, too. I think it will be clutch to punch them. Right now, it's like they just want to put points on the board. Yeah. They just want to get the offensive tempo rolling. Let's take another look at the TD rolling right. Patient, patient. Find his right. man in the oh, corner. Oh, turn him in long. Glasser back to work. Looks he's, right. He's got his guy. Winston. Winston. Footing oh. slippery. That boy is shifty, man. Oh, yeah. That boy is shifty. He looked like he put on some muscles since last year. They feeding the boys good at him. So last year he played for Cam Newton's C1N team. And since then he's committed to Colorado with Coach Prime. Pretty good year. Cousin Sammy Watkins, so it's his blood. It's his blood. Daddy. Touchdown. Daddy. That JoJo? JoJo Trader. Oh! What? Down at the one? Oh, that's out. Down nah. at the one. This ref is, nah, he's calling oh, touchdown not, over there. Wait, we, look at the right official. We, ha we, have, we have one official saying down at the one, the other saying touchdown. They got to just rock paper scissors. I don't know, what's the call? Down at the one? Hey, Tom, any word down there? Is that a touchdown good. or no? No. No. But, but it looks like they called that touch. They're oh. calling it good. Yeah, they're calling it good. Oh, he's, ref is not happy. Oh, we lost Let's take a look. They're calling it good. Maybe they're going to need this break. Yeah, I mean, it's close. It's close. He's, up. he's like, you don't overrule me. 14-7 <laughs> for South right Florida now. Express, the reigning champs of season one of OT7 in Vegas. Bro, it took him two throws to do that. Both times, two throws. I mean, you got a bunch of five stars, a bunch of four stars. They have over 10 of those on the team for SFE. Oh, oh it's incomplete. Almost picked though. Almost ran out of time. Almost got. 
It's a lot of almost. Almost. Not enough dudes. You warming up over here? Nah, You've been man, shivering cold, the whole bro. morning. I ain't, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm cold, bro. I can't wait till it heats up a little bit. You moved to Arizona. It didn't know it was cold. Bro, it's never cold. It's never cold. <laughs> Freezing. I got a big, thick park on right now, but it's not doing the job. <laughs> so this is the first of four divisionals for OT7 Season 2. We're in Arizona right now. The second one will be in Austin, Texas. I love AZ. Drops back. Oh, good catch. Oh, incomplete. Oh, he dropped it? Oh, I was about to say. Seen some guys slipping here early. I hear McBill playing, boy. It looked like somebody rolling up. Uh oh, push those easy. Hey, is there a better walk-up song than Dreams and Nightmares? No, of course not. That goes out of history, bro. History. Now let me ask you, is it at this point, if you if you come in playing that, is that a little bit basic? Nah. It's it, it, it still plays? It's, it's of course the best, but it's, it's the norm, you know? If you walk in playing a little Uzi, I just want to rock that ass over. That, that is all and there it is. They we have a sack that, that is the first blitz used by SFB. How many do they get per game, sir? They get two. You can tack on two points. And SFB has taken the lead. Or extended their lead, excuse me. 16-7. 16-7, and they will get the ball back. Hey, in these 22-minute games, you get a stop and a score, that's a big swing yeah. real quick. I want to see somebody use the money. Money drive, man. Throw them palms up, man. Put that money up. So we haven't seen a money drive yet. Well, I'll explain it quickly. Once a game for each team, a team can say, this is their money drive. And if they score, it's 10 points. But if they don't score, see a first down there. Good grab. If, if they do not score, that's four points for the defense. If they get picked off, that's six points for the defense. So high risk, high reward if you use your one money drive. Now, this is not their money drive, but uh, keep an eye on. I, I keep an eye on. I'm excited for the to Dolphins see it. to use it. It's, you know, they're down nine right now, so. Is it? I don't even know math right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Not. 16 to 7. That's a little early yeah, in the morning. It's early, bro. It's early. We're here to talk football, not too math. Come on now. <laughs> Drops back, looks over the middle, incomplete. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. That boy's throwing darts. That's intended for Malachi Tony, the sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. He had a monster freshman year playing alongside Ohio State commit Brandon Innes. And he's one of the best underclassmen in the country. He's got offers from Bama, UGA, Florida State. Where would you even go at all? <sighs> Gotta go saving, right? Yeah. Gotta go saving. Yeah, but I don't know. You're a, you're yeah, a Florida so State guy, talent. though, right? Yeah, not like yeah, you are a Florida State guy. I like Florida State. I was a big Florida State fan in high school, and I started sucking. Oh, got some trickery. Oh. Throws it back. Double Flea throw. flicker. Double throw. Got Complete. It. First down. First down. Miles Burris on the catch. We have papers flying all over our desk. That was a pretty play by South Florida Express. Miles Burris, a three star with that, offers from Central Michigan and Coastal Carolina. Now, does that count as a run? That does not count as a run. Over the middle. That's complete. Easy work. That's Easy Malachi Tony the again. They're just getting warmed up right now, man. It's the first game of the, of the day. They're just warming up right now. So SFB has all of these five stars, these four stars. They've got 10 total between those. But they have these other guys too, like, you know, yeah. sophomore Malachi Tony. A lot of underclassmen who are going to be with them for a couple years. Malachi Tony with over 1,000 yards as a freshman in Florida. Ah. Beast. He's tall. How tall is he? Six, six. Uh, Malachi Tony? I'm tripping, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. Yeah, no, Malachi's in motion yeah, here. I'm tripping. Rolls left, <laughs> looks right, touchdown. Teddy! Jojo, Jojo again. Joe Trader. Jojo again. Five star, Hollywood, Florida. I love my Florida boys, man. I'm biased, but I think Florida got the best football in the world. Uh, just a little you know, bit that's biased. Just me. That's just me. Let's take another look here. Rolls left, throwing back across his body. Joe, Joe Trader. We saw him last year in OT7 Vegas. He's back for more. He's got offers from Florida State, Ohio State, and Miami. So I'm gonna ask you the oh, same is he question. Oh, striking. Oh, ah. incomplete. 
I'm asking you, between those three, which are you choosing? Florida State, Ohio State, and Miami. Oh, I think Ohio State got the most firepower out of, out of all of them. I was a big Florida State fan. Miami's out the picture. I don't know. I might go Florida State, bro. What about you? Oh, I mean, Ohio State, there's a case to be made that's wide receiver you right yeah. now. A lot of talent coming out of Ohio State. I want to be close to where my family can go see the games. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> hey, Tom, we have JoJo down there. What's going on? Hey, thanks, Sam. I'm down here with JoJo. Now, you guys oh, got a lot of right. talent out here. Who's the best player on the team? Yeah. Everybody. Everybody's good at it now. You're also not committed. You want to tell me where you want to go? No one's listening. I don't know where I want to go right now. I'm all confused. <laughs> we got a lot of options. Obviously, you guys are out here, though, just competing. What's the best part about playing with SFE, all this talent in one spot? I've been fun playing with the brothers I love. You know, I've been growing up with them, you know, play with them. You know, we we unstoppable. We're going to win this whole thing, though, for sure. I love it. JoJo Trader, two touchdowns already. Back to you guys. <laughs> Bro, did you see that throw just now? That was a defensive pass interference, 10 yeah. yard penalty. That boy rolled first down. Super right and threw way across his body, like 40 yards down the field to the left side of the field. Dangerous. That is not a recommended throw, but hey, they do get the yeah. But good play by Julian Stubblefield, the wide receiver coming back for it, drawing the flag. Sometimes that's your best offense. Oh, Shot caught. Now being lost it down. Good defense from SFE. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at the DPI. I that mean, that, that throw. That's a crazy throw. <laughs> co co coaches all over America are, are, seven on seven. Are, are, are hitting themselves in the forehead with Only that. Only in seven on seven. They just boom. Am I tripping or did they, did they just boom? Uh, all right, so we got first down here. That was defensive holding. We need to have these refs mic'd up. Pumps left, oh. throws left. Ah. That's the third guy to slip. The route looked good, but yeah, a lot it of did. these guys were losing their footing. Great route. I'm excited to watch a lot of these teams play. Bro. Who are you the most excited to watch? I mean, this this SFE receiving core, I mean, that's Same. that does it Same. doesn't get better than that. You know, we 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 have a lot of talent here. 24K is always good. Florida team again. Oh, Thank of course, you. of course. Thank you. Trillion Boy is always good. Uh, they can't, they can't. But you know, I. <laughs> Bray dropping back, looking over the middle, throws right. Oh, might have got away with a little defensive holding. And of course, waving incomplete, yeah, oh, incomplete. Got it, got it. Maybe throwing the seatbelt. <laughs> Play on the arms. That's Tyler Jackson on the coverage from Jacksonville, Florida. We got third down here. So only three downs to complete it here in seven on seven. So this is basically fourth down. And if they want to stay alive in this money, game, uh, they need some points right now. Just under seven minutes left, 23-7 for South Florida clock, Express. Right? Huh? Rolling clock, right? Rolling clock. Rolling now, in pool play, the clock does not stop at all. Stop. Not even timeouts, Each team gets one timeout, and there's a second blitz. Completed. Nice play by Bray. That's Julian Stubblefield. First down. He'll stay alive. Hey, if he didn't slip, I ain't gonna lie, he would've missed. Oh, turn over. They did not get it. This angle is hard to really s to see. So, so we're, uh, we're our booth is behind the end zone right now. So uh, you know we're, we're not a, we're not men of excuses, but you know it's just a little explanation. We'll let the rest of it. <laughs> Twenty-five seven for SFE, and they're going with the money drive here. Money drive. You baby. see you see the hands up little the the, the little Johnny wanna... Manziel. Oh, SFE going uh, going for the knockout punch. So if oh, they score, man. if SFE scores, ten points. Ten big ones. If the they if they get stopped, that's oh, four points for the defense. Deep run. shot. Easy. Got his man. Yes. Ah. Jeremiah Smith to the pit. <laughs> pit. Not the, the Palace, South Florida Express. <laughs> 
Sheesh. How do you even stop that, bro? How do you even stop that? That is Jeremiah Smith, the number one wide receiver in the oh class of 2024, gosh. the cousin of Geno Smith. You look that like boy Julio has Jones a future. to me. <laughs> that boy has a past, present, and future. My God. Jesus. How do you stop that? Beautiful throw, too. How do you stop that? 35-7. That's how, that's how you exploit the money They're drive. They're trying to right mercy rule these boys. On the money. I like these money drives. Whose idea was it, man? We need to give them a raise. I like the money drive. Let's see if AZ responds. AZ dropping back, throwing uh, right. Respond. Stubble field, uh, incomplete. No, it's double field, it's double field. <laughs> I'm still buzzing from that touchdown. I'm not gonna I think, lie. I think they called a DPI, bro. Defense pass. They did call a DPI. Good first eye, down. good eye. Ten yard penalty, automatic first down. First this now. I gotta say, if I was the AZ Dolphins, I'm using money. my money yeah, drive. You gotta stay alive. 17 don't look as bad as seven. You can't take it home with you. Yeah. Still Bray under center, drops back, looks right. Fleet. Monsivias. 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 2026 wide receiver from Phoenix. You know, they're kind of an underdog squad, and this this is a tough matchup for them. Yeah. But I, I'm still I'm still feeling big success for them in OT7. In the tournament, for sure. But Maybe not this it's, game, it's, a, it's a tough draw. The tournament. Tough yeah. draw. Bray looks I left. I feel like they might have their hardest bet. Oh, big. picked off. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dalen oh, Black, excuse man. me, LeWayne McCoy. Woo! LeWayne McCoy adds two points on top of that. Is it three or two? That's three. Three, points. three points Turnover on down is two. 38-7. They might SFG. put a 40 ball on him. Yeah, SFG going back to work. ball on him. Let's take a look. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. So that's it. Crazy because AZ Dolphins literally just signed up for OT7 24 hours ago, and they got to face the defending champs first. Going deep. Oh my god. Oh, just oh out of reach. God, I was about to say. Demario Jenkins, a three-star. They striking. Woo. He wants it more. You know, airing it out like that at 38-7. That's that <laughs> seven-on-seven football for you right there. I'm surprised we haven't seen any backflips yet. I know. 38 to 7, just over two minutes left. They're still airing it out. Yeah, what is what what is the mercy rule here at OT7, man? Oh, man. We, we don't have one. I'm mercy sorry. Rule, that's crazy. Rose left. Jeremiah. Julio. Jeremiah Smith. I'm gonna call him Julio for now. Ohio State. Mitt. It's a high schooler, bro. Look at I know, guy. I know. That's crazy. He's massive. That's crazy. 6'3", 200 pounds. In high school, I was probably like, what, 5, 7, that, I mean, 50. 6'3", 200 is the only, only thing stopping me from going to Ohio State, too. Man. How tall are you back in high school, man? Dude, what was your stats can, like? Can, can I tell you something crazy? So, I did all my growing when I was young. I've 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 only I've only grown one inch since eighth grade. I'm five no eleven. I'm five eleven. Oh, so he was five ten at eighth grade. I was five ten in eighth grade. That's yeah. why my basketball game is so bad. I had all these post moves when I was the tallest one, and now yeah, you now probably I'm thought short. You, was gonna you know, be, he's about to be Yao Ming or something. Yeah, yeah. Now my post moves aren't worth anything. Oh, man. JoJo Smith the grab. Puts the boys on the two yard line. They knocking on the door once again. 35 seconds left. They want to make it 45 7. All right, who's getting this touchdown? Um, I'm going to Julio. You're going, you're going Julio? <laughs> I'm going Julio. I'm going, uh, I'm going Damarian Jenkins, number 14, over the middle. 
Ooh. Touchdown. We were both wrong. The Wayne McCoy. We were both wrong. Is he on defense too? Both ways. He's a DB as well, huh? Yep. Well, he's like that. He is like that. And are they going for it? Oh, uh, the defensive no. holding called off. Oh, uh, I thought they were going uh, for it. Oh, now they are going for it. Going for the one point gamble, Give throws it up. Oh, I was about to say. Incomplete. I was so, about to say. Tack on six. That will do it. 44 to seven. Yeah. S F E. Hey, they don't look like they plan on slowing down, and they look like they trying to get the second one under their belt this year. Sheesh. Amazing performance by the boys. Hey, Tom, what'd you make of SFE? Oh, I think we lost Tom there. D, what'd you make? Oh, dang, yeah, I'm over here. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm Tom, over here I'm with sorry, Jeremiah Tom. Smith. Oh, Tom, what's going on with Jeremiah? Had a deep touchdown today, right? How, what happened on that play? Oh, uh, really just uh, corner plan uh, outside shade with his butt to the sideline. So I was running in and out. He, he bit on the out. I just ran bomb, that's all. Now, a lot of people already say you're the best wide receiver in the country. You the best player in the country? Uh. To me, I am, but I mean, that's, that's other people with pain. I mean, I really don't go off that. I mean, I just work, keep my head down, keep working, do what I got to do. I mean, if I become number one player, I mean, that would be a blessing, but I'm just happy with the, uh, with how I'm ranked right now. I love it. And what's that? What are we doing for the rest of this tournament? What's the plan? Uh, just really win it all and take it back home. Back to back, that's all. I love it. Back to back. Excited to see it. Appreciate it. Oh. See you guys in a little bit. Back to you guys. Great game. Thank back you. Back. Thank you, Tom. That's Jeremiah Smith or Julio Jones, Julio. as, as Destroying <laughs> would call him. Hey, that'll do it for us. I'm Overtime Day. I'm Young Destroying. Stick with us. Like, subscribe, comment. All OT7. We got a ton more content coming. Stick with us. Peace. Sir, we out of Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Hello and welcome to sunny Phoenix, Arizona. We are back for season two of OT7. Last year we did it in Vegas. Unbelievable time, but we're back for season two. This is the first divisional. We're in Arizona, first of four divisionals. Sir, we have a big matchup today between last year's Cinderella team, Low Pro, and the D1 Five Stars from Arizona. I'm your man, Overtime Day. I'm joined by my brother, Destroying. Young Destroying, what's good with it, man? I'm excited to be here, bro. The weather's beautiful, the field's great, the talent's great, man. I'm excited to watch some great OT7, 7 on 7 football, baby. Now we got an unbelievable game. D, I want you to break down a couple of the keys. To yes, sir, game. man. Some of the keys today, man. We got Makai Eugenio. He's the definition of cool, calm, and collected. And as an eighth grader, he won over the hearts of many of OT7 last year. Demond Williams is the number five player in the state of Arizona. He can make plays all over the field. He's committed to Ole Miss. And the D1 five stars defense is loaded. Led by the three star DB headed dragon, Miles Lockhart, DeJon Henson, and Andre Gibson. DB-headed dragon. It's time for football. Let's get into it. Let's get it. You hear the horn? Do. That means it is time to ball out. You can't be named D1 five stars and not ball out, bro. You have to. Facts. Oh, out the gate, one hand grab. OK. OK. I like low pro, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I was rooting for them last year, underdogs. They upset a couple teams. Low pro was the Cinderella story of season one, OT7 in Vegas, with a bunch of eighth graders, they, they dominated. They really did. Well, not hey. dominated, but they pulled off a couple upsets and, and really put their team on the map. Hey, them boys are already looking good. Two completions at the gate. Now, I got to say, these low pro jerseys, you can't read the numbers. All black is tough, though. I it's tough, all black is but, tough. Uh, but it's tough for us. Don't, don't they know there are two <laughs> announcers who are trying to call this tough game for us. Here. That's completed Ooh. to the right. Oh, thought it was going to get shifty real quick. So that's Ty McCutcheon under center right now, three-star for low pro. He's got offers from Arizona, Washington State. He's from Hawaii, 6 3 But they've got my ooses. They, they've got two great quarterbacks, so they're going to rotate him between Ty McCutcheon, Micah Eugenio. It was Micah last year who really balled out. Where's my eighth grade brother at? Over the middle. Oh, Down at know? the one. <sighs> if I was a ref, I would have gave that Haynes. to him. Aston Haynes. I would have gave that to him if I was a ref. Low pro coming out swinging here. Low pro wants this, man. Low pro wants this. One thing about last year, they played with a lot of heart. Boy. A lot of heart. It looks like this year they're doing it again. 
He won five stars. He won two stars. First down <laughs> from the two. He's touchdown. In now. In now. Onase Salano, uh, Salanoa. Salanoa. And these Hawaiian names, tough for your boy. Tough. That's a 2025 Hawaiian 510 180. Making it look easy. Low pro with a 7 0 lead. All right, so here's how the scoring works at OT7. You score a touchdown at seven points. If you want, there's what's called a one point gamble. Mm. So that's a, basically a one point try from the 10. But if you don't get it, you go down to six. Ooh, so you're gambling. So it's a two-point swing. Low Pro elects not to go for it. They're just taking it straight up They're seven. taking it, and D1 five stars will take over from the 40, down seven nothing. Is they offense different color? What? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Wait a minute. That's some D1 five-star action right there. That's kind of wild. That's complete right there. That's tough. Five star. So the D1 five stars are based out of Arizona. Every single guy on the roster is based out of Arizona. A lot of AZ teams out here in the tournament this year. Now they've got, love it. they got, a ton, D, let me ask you, they got a ton of three stars, a ton of four stars. Mm. But the D1 five stars Who don't have five any five stars. Star? Who the five stars? I hate to, I hate to ask for the receipts. <laughs> Who but, the uh, five star? I mean, I have questions. I have questions. Maybe when they name the team. They had a five star on there. Going deep. Going deep. Uh, Over his head. I'm telling you, it's very windy out here. These quarterbacks let these balls sail a little bit too much, man. You throw that deep ball, you got to play to win, too. That was intended for JC Dickerson, the three star, with the offers from Oregon, Arizona, Arizona State. Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. They're going to be five stars one day, man. Just be patient. They're going to get there. Youngins, youngins. They're going to get there. They're going to get there. So the majority of the D1 five stars are class of 2024. So they're 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 coming into their own. They got time. They, they got, got time. time. Yeah, they got time. Last year in, in high school, dropping back, yeah. complete. Easy. 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 Off the sideline. Easy. 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 Is that Logan Hunch? Hunch? I think so. No, no, that that's for low pro. So. Oh, no, I. We, we were not given a number 16 on the D1 five star, so uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on who number. They've, they've got, uh, they're all switching jerseys on us here. Rolls out to the right, over the middle, down at the one. See, again, if I'm a ref, I'm giving that to him, man. I couldn't be no ref, bro. <laughs> It'll be too many points on the board. No flags called. <laughs> John Hinton, sir. Damon Williams has led these D1 five stars down the field, huh? Yeah, they look good. They're looking five stars. <laughs> Ole oh, oh Miss commit. Let's see if they score right here. Where's the ball going to? I'd say three. He's going. He's going to the left. Oh, they get called for a false beep, start beep, here. Beep 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 beep. False start. We back him up. How does this work? So a false start is just a loss of down, not backed up at all. Backing them up, my boy. Oh, five-yard penalty. Excuse me. Back them up five. But it'll remain second down. Oh, uh, sorry, it will go to second down. Excuse me. I like the purple, man. Very, very Phoenix. Third down, money down. Third, okay. They got a score right here. Third down, money down. They need this. No, they got another false they not start. D1 five star. They not D1 five star. We have another false start, and that will be a turnover. They only get three downs and seven on seven. They not D1 five star. <laughs> and tack, tack on two for Low Pro. Their defense getting it done, and it's nine nothing. And Low Pro is looking to make it a 16 nothing lead mm. early. Mm. If I'm them, I'm throwing the money up. What's the money? Tell them. All right, so in OT7, we have this thing called the money drive. Now, this is not the money drive right here, but we're going to tell you so that when it comes, you're ready for it. Hold on one second. Drops back, looks left. Oh. Incomplete. We've seen a lot of slipping here earlier. Yeah. So the Dude. money drive. If you score on the money drive and, you, and each team gets only one of those a game, that's 10 points. 10. That's a big point. But you got to throw it up before. You got you to throw the Johnny Manziel money hands up to signify. Johnny Manziel money. Has but if, to be known. if you don't get it, tack on four for the defense or six if on the pick. pick it. Ooh. High risk, high reward. 
Gibbs over the middle. Ooh. Incomplete. Two <laughs> hands, my boy. God gave you two hands for a reason. Go up with them. It's seven on seven. You know, they're trying to be cute and pretty. They're trying to get the one hand snag. Of course, of course. All the above. They're trying to be on overtime Instagram page. That was Ross Alexander them. on the coverage. You just got to catch them. Fifteen minutes left. Got Micah Eugenio under center here for low pro. And he was a beast last year in OT7 season one. Going left. Going Throwing right. back across his body. Oh, Complete. Man. What oh, a throw. Man. Oh my goodness. D. Rolling oh my left, God. bro. That's that's unhuman. <laughs> Rolling left. Throwing across his body to the right. Perfectly Deep. in the pocket over the shoulder. Here's another look. He plays that ball perfectly. Man. The arm strength to have. Caught his man in stride. Make that throw. Yeah, they needed that. Eugenio drops back. Picked uh, off. Oh, man. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he going to give back to him. He threw that thing kind of violently. <laughs> right to his hands. We got 9-3 for low pro. That's a bad turnover. Yeah, man, that's crazy. We are just singing his praises. Yin and yang, man. He never <laughs> saw him. the zone defense. Great throw, followed up with a pick. Okay, okay, the D1 five stars on the board on defense first. So back to the money drive as you're talking about, when, when OT7 implemented this, I thought teams were gonna be using it early yeah. in games. I, I feel like it's like a lifeline if you're really down or you're really up. Or just uh, just, uh, yeah. just to put them out of their misery. Yeah, pretty much, step on their necks. Man. Of course, of course. Damon Williams, yeah, so 14, he looking up. left. He's Easy. got his man. Easy, ooh. Complete. Should've hit the little B button. Dejon Hinton. Sir. Okay, they offense look like they sparking up now. Defense set the tempo, offense come out and execute, man. Damon Williams has a smooth motion, huh? Yeah, they, they all look good. They look at D1 five-story this, this drive. <laughs> Let's see if they can complete it, though. 13 minutes remaining. We have a 9 3 game. The D1 five star is looking to take the lead. It's a little windy out here. It huh? is, man. I'm over here freezing. We got a park going. I'm shivering in Arizona. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Williams That's looks cool. right. 15 was in the area. Not quite on the same page. See, I got to stop praising. I said they look at D1 five star. You know. Their their defenses look good. The defense offense, look offense good. a little bit out of sync. Defense look good. But you know but they, can we say that though? Because low pro scored on first drive. True, true. But in both drives, they've gone down the field pretty easily. Yeah. And then on the other side of the 20, having some issues in the red zone a little bit. Williams back to work here for the D1 five stars. Like the rolls right. Defense of the home. Not on the same page again. <laughs> Bro, they, they picked the name. They set themselves up. I know. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with they you. They set themselves up. As soon as they signed up without a five star player on there with that name, they opened the floodgates with jokes. So the D1 five stars are all based out, out of Arizona. Do you think? Playing tournaments in your hometown makes it easier because you're in your backyard, not a lot of I mean, travel. It should. You probably slept in your own bed. It should. You know? It should. Or do but you then not again, get up it as makes much. them comfortable. Right. You know? Makes them comfortable. It's a certain vibe when you go to these tournaments, you travel, you at the hotel, you know. I don't know if you feel the same way if you're at home and they use that blitz. Got them. Turn over on downs. One of two blitzes, and it is a turnover on downs. Low pro will take over. We have 11. Game. Yeah, minutes to go, baby. I like the number 11, too. So I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many how many college jerseys with the number 11 do you have on the day? Uh, you know, surprisingly, a lot of them don't really keep them. I probably nah. got like five, four or five of them. So you can get those jerseys. custom jerseys, say destroying on the back, the, the tough the, photo the cool, shoes. The cool schools will give me a custom jersey, yeah. That's yeah. completed. Michigan got me right, Oregon got me right, LSU got me right. That's about it. Which is your favorite coach that you met on those trips? 
Uh, at UCLA, man, there's this dope. Uh, he's a strength coach, Coach Keith Belton, KB. Okay. He's a man, bro. He's a man. He treats me like family. Lets me work out at UCLA whenever. This is love, man. That's completed to Aston Haynes, 2024 wideout from Hawaii. Hey, Low Pro might not be underdogs this tournament. No, absolutely not. They might not be underdogs this tournament. Man, it's like a blizzard. Yeah, I, our papers are flying all over <laughs> here. We've ran out of paperweights, fam. We're using water bottles, staplers. Looking left. Nice sidearm. Complete. Nice little sidearm. What's my eighth grade? That's Wait, where he at? Uh, Number Pomohale. 13. He's not an eighth grade no more. He's a ninth grade, huh? Last year, he was an eighth grader. Makai Eugene. McCutcheon drops back. Incomplete. You know, I think a lot of the passing struggles for both teams here is this win. This win and and I don't want to make excuses for them, but... No, uh win's crazy. But at the end of the day, man, you got to be able to adapt to the environments. You got to be able mm -hmm. to do what you do. Can't control the weather. That's one thing. So we got to see the talent, the arm talent, if they could adapt to that. So Ty McCutcheon, he plays in Hawaii. And he goes to a school called Punahu. Punaho. I thought going to say something I else. I know, I know, I know. Hey, this is a PG <laughs> no, show. Whoa. This is a PG show, my boy. Guess, guess who else went to his high school? Else. A famous uh, alumni, and there's the blitz. One of two blitzes, McCutcheon drops back. Pick. Oh, is that a grab? Incomplete. A lot of contact in the end zone. No call. I don't know, back to your, who? And it'll be a turnover. We have an 11 to five game. Both defenses holding strong play. in the red zone. Who's the alumni, Tua? Mr. President Barack Obama. Oh, dang. Oh, I thought you were going to say a football player. That's I know. Cool. I know you did. That's why I had to throw you off with that. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> because it says on the sheet. Sh <laughs> shout out, like, shout no out to the production team who keeps me right with research beforehand. I was like, ain't no way he knew this off the top yeah, of Yeah, I just keep these in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Obama's alma mater, of course, yeah. of course. Let's see if the D15 stars can put some points on. I mean, they got points on the board, but defense. 11 to 5 with a chance to take the lead. We have just over eight minutes remaining. No money is used yet. Demar Williams going back to work. Oh, there's a money drive. There's a money drive. There's a money drive. There's a money drive. And they looking like they dropping the money. Defense holding strong for low pro. So just a reminder here, we talked about it a little bit before. 10 points if they score. Four points for the defense if they do not score. Six, six points for the defense for the pick, on a pick. Pick six, mm. literally. The Ole Miss commit, Damon Williams Jr. Dropping back. Looks like he's going to take a shot. Oh, he should have threw the four. Incomplete. No pro almost picked and that honestly, off too, man. He should have picked that off. No, I ain't going to lie to you. Number four was running wide open. He has nice been a lot. Route. He has been a lot. Corner out to the back. I don't know. Should have threw that. Nobody's airing out in this game. Nope. I'm telling you, it's the wind. It's the wind. This is a money down. Money drive. Too. It is so the money drive. It's their last chance to make something happen. They need a first down here. Yep. It is third down here. Third down, money and down. They need 15 yards for a first down. Huge play in this game right here. Hey, Dropping hey. back, rolling right. Here's the blitz. Got him. Over. We waste the Got him. Tack on six That's for four. low That's pro. Four. That's four. Right? Uh, That's sorry, four. tack on four. Thank you, T. Tack on four for low pro. Low pro and is low pro is getting man. the ball back. Mm. I'm calling it. Low pro, my favorite to win it tonight. They up there though. <laughs> they up there. They might go to the championship. They can make noise. They might go to they're, they're, so low pro want the money. Low pro going back to back money drives here. Low pro want the money. 15 to 5. Team's throwing up the Johnny Manziel money hands. It is time for the money drive. Low pro is looking to make it a 25 to 5 game. That's what I love about OT7 football. You don't, you never get you never know. You never get 25 to 5 games in the NFL. Did the refs just throw a pink flag? Is that a pink flag now? Oh, we got we got a false start here on low pro. OT just doing it all different, huh? Pink flags. It's a false start on low pro. Ball will stay on the 40. Got second down. That's Micah Eugenio back under center. Looking left. Got his man. 
He'll be just short of the first down. I feel like Low Pro will execute this team. Yeah. So Micah is a freshman. He just ha played his freshman year at Bishop Gorman, touted high school in Nevada. Got a lot of talent out of there. Zechariah Branch. Oh, yeah. His thing there last year. He's one of the best wide receivers I've yeah. ever seen in high school. Yeah. Big third down here for Low Pro. Eugenio. He's got three to his left, two to his right, over the middle, Ooh. over through. Ooh. And the T1 five stars over stay strong. Four points for the D1 five stars. Their defense is maybe D1 five star. Their defense is looking nice. Looking nice. You know, for their defense, I told you that three headed dragon. The three head, the, the, the DB dragon. The DB dragon. The DB dragon. <laughs> 15 to nine with four and a half minutes remaining. Destroying, just getting one <laughs> high good. five, one dap up during this broadcast after another. Uh -oh. But it's fine, I'll hold it down for us. It's all good. Hold Goodbye, up my Williams. <laughs> Incomplete, great defense by Low Pro. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's Noah Makapule on the coverage. These Hawaiian names, man, they're testing me. It's tough, man, testing I ain't gonna lie. Me. I remember last year it was Ayamaliyama. <laughs> Nico Ayamaliyama. Ayamaliyama, however you say it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm earning my paycheck with these Hawaiian names. <laughs> earning my pinstripes. <laughs> Tamar Williams oh, back to work. Oh, oh, right oh, what a throw oh, to the pad. That's it now. Woo! That's it now. That's a grab. Class Johnson, three-star with an Arizona offer, and that was on the money to Mount Williams Jr. Mm. That was beautiful. The concentration to find the back shoulder, snag it, and get your feet down. Mm. Pretty, pretty. Let's take another look. Mm. Williams, beautiful. Throw. Class, the catch. We go. That's another first complete. down. Another first down. Another first down. We got first and goal here. Why don't they do this on their money drive? I know. So what's crazy is it feels like Low Pro has dominated this game. You know? It's still, but bro, all of a sudden, score right here. They, they score right here. It's a 16 to 15 game. They up. Wild. Two minutes Just 50 like that. seconds left, so anything can happen. Crunch time. Williams looks to and his right. Put Low Pro looks back over. Offense. Pointing. Looking. Sack. Oh, flag, we got a flag, we got a flag, we got a flag. Holding on the defense. Holding. Two and a half minutes remaining. It's a running clock here, OT7. Even in pool play, all 22 minutes are running clock. And then in bracket play, you know, the last minute, there's, stops, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some stops. We'll get into that later. When you check back in for, for, for bracket play later. Sir. We need some here. Williams rolls to his left. Easy. Touchdown. Easy work. Easy and the work. And one five stars take the lead just like that. Man, low pro, man. And here's what's crazy. Going for two. I'm, I'm wondering if, if they... Uh, they're going, they're going for I'm, the swing. I'm wondering if they, they know the rule here because... I don't know why they're going for the swing. This is a one, the one-point gamble. You get one shot from the 10. If you get it, you tack on a point. If you don't, you lose a point. What's so the, what they have they the doing? lead right now. This makes zero sense. Coach, zero why, sense. Why are y'all With a minute that? and a half left, you got to trust your defense. Because if oh, they don't man. get it, that's a tie. Even if they do get oh, it. Oh, man, what are you doing? What's the point? What's a, then you're just winning by two. I almost want them to not get it. This is so stupid. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Devon Williams to the right. Oh, God almighty. Looks to the middle. Incomplete. Oh, God almighty. Oh. And the D1 five stars go from having the lead with a minute and a half left to a five ball game. Coaching choice. And now Low Pro, now Low Pro is all ready to go on offense. We have a minute left, and here we go. Micah Eugenio under center, over the middle, complete. What was that? I I, I'm know. shook. I'm I don't shook. No, I really don't know. They, Man. they're tripping for that one. <laughs> oh my. I'm a Giants fan. Maybe that was a that was a Joe Judge decision right there. Ball, a false start. Maybe it's the 45 heat, seconds left. We got second down here. Now also keep in mind, low pro looking over the middle. 
Ooh. Falls. Oh, Keep wow. in mind here, I don't know what you do. You got third down. It's 15 all. The score is 15 30 seconds, all right 30 now. Seconds. On third down, I think I think you might just let the clock run out because if you don't get it here, they need 15 yards for the first down. Mm. And I don't know about the timeout oh, here. Man. Oh, man. Oh, excuse me. Man. I believe that was a timeout by the five stars. You saw a timeout. Ty, hey, Tom. Tom, what's going on down there? Okay, Tom's not there. 29 seconds left, 15 all. There's some questionable coaching choices going on. That's crazy. I, I mean, still can't believe they went for it. I'm I, don't not, think he know, I don't think he knew the rule, bro. I, there's that, no way. That's the only excuse. I don't think he knew the rule. Because anybody in their right mind wouldn't have done that. So that was a timeout by Low Pro. So if they don't get a first down here, they lose. So also, why did they stop? Why did they stop the clock? Maybe Looking they just right. in the offense, bro. Throwing right. Incomplete. 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 So now they lost the game. So with the running clock, Tech the on D1 five points. stars go up 17 to 15. And this was one of the most mismanaged endings <laughs> to a 7-on-7 seven seven <laughs> game I've ever seen in my whole entire life. That is insane. Oh, my D1 God. five stars. Walking out with the dub, 17, 17, 15, D1, five stars. Crazy game. Wow. Crazy game. Hey, Tom, you standing, Tom you standing by with us? Oh, no, it looks like we do not have Tom, to, uh, Tom standing by with they us. They got bailed out, man. They got bailed out. With that being said, we are out. Young Destroy, overtime day. Out of here, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, tune in to all the action on OT7. We got a lot of exciting games coming up, man. Make sure y'all tap in. We out here. Peace. Overtime Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Yo, yo, what is going on? Welcome to the desert. We are here for OT7 Season 2 from Phoenix, Arizona. Last year was great, OT7 Season 1 in Vegas, but this year, bigger and better than ever. This is the first divisional of four before the championship in June, and I could not be more excited for this one. We have EPS Blaze versus 940 Elite. I'm your man, Overtime Day. This is my guy, the Care Bear himself. Kieran, how we doing? Doing good today. Doing good. Very excited for this matchup, man. Can't tell you what. And this is going to be an all-time great matchup. We have a team from Texas, team from Louisiana. He might be a little biased. He's from Texas. But, hey, Kieran, what should we look for in this game? In this matchup, of course, 940 Elite have the best one-two punch in this entire tournament, in my opinion. Michael Hawkins, Devon Mitchell, one-two punch, best tight end in the country in the 25 class. I'm really looking forward to that. The, on the defensive side of the ball, though, I think EPS has the advantage. They have Tevis Metcalf, DK Metcalf's cousin. I think this matchup is going to be electric, but also it's more electric because it's a Texas versus Louisiana. We're talking about the Lone Star State versus the boot. Let's go. This is going to be a great matchup. We are about to get underway. You're going to hear the horn. Let's get into it. EPS Blaze, 940 Elite. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Looks like 940 Elite. We'll start with the ball. We have a 22-minute running clock here in pool play of OT7. They're saying that's a catch or? Yeah, it's a catch. Yeah, catch complete early on. Michael Hawkins Jr., a dog. Absolute dog at quarterback. I'm trying to tell you, yo. There's three players on this, on this, on this 940 Elite offense that all play on the same high school team. It's Messiah Washington, the wide receiver. Devon Mitchell, the, the number one tight end in the country, and Michael Hawkins. And as you can see, Michael Hawkins just dealing. He's got offers to Oklahoma, TCU, Alabama. And that's a pretty good list right there. Hey, we usually don't do too much like recruiting predictions around here, but I have a prediction. I think Michael Hawkins is definitely going to Oklahoma. It's where his dad went to school. Uh -huh. uh, 
If it was my son, you're, you're definitely going to play at the school that I went to. Otherwise, Boomer Sooner. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not Boomer Sooner. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're Texas Longhorns fans in this booth today. But, uh, <laughs> but no, Michael Hawkins, very, very talented quarterback. Dad played in the NFL and in Oklahoma. Really, really solid. But not a good start for them automatically having to go off the field with a three and out. So here's the scoring at OT7. If you score a touchdown, it's worth seven, not six. Then you have a chance for a one-point gamble, which is basically a point after attempt. But if you don't get it, you lose a point. So you're at seven. You can either go to eight or six. If you if the defense gets a stop, that's two points for them. If they get a pick, tack on three. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Mm. EPS Blaze gets off to a blazing start here. Starting off hot, man. I tell you what, they, they have got some talent. They've got some sneaky talent on this team. Kids from the boot, you can never count them out. I mean, what, Justin Jefferson was on a two-star out of Louisiana? and ends up being one of the best, I don't know, rookie wide receivers we've ever seen in the NFL, one of the best college receivers we've ever seen at LSU. So you can't sleep on these kids from the boot. These kids are, uh, are really electric playmakers. Mana drops back, and he's got his man for seven. Touchdown. Gregory Manning for seven. Mm -mm -mm. I like that last name, Manning, too. Being a Manning in Louisiana, that goes, that gets you places, right? It definitely does. It definitely does. You know, some of the most popular, <laughs> probably the most popular football name in, in history. The 5'8 junior from Shreveport, Louisiana. Just about everyone on this EPS Blaze team is from Louisiana. And they'll just take their seven, no, uh, no extra, and they're up 9 nothing now. 940 looking to take their shot. Got what a catch, bro. on the money. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Davon dog. Mitchell, as you mentioned before, bro. the five-star from Los Alamitos, California. He's he's an absolute problem. He's an absolute problem. The dude, the dude goes over the middle, snags the ball throughout the air. I mean, like, these two, like I said, they were high school teammates this past season at Allen. He is a absolute unit out there on the field. Be what, 6'4", 240 pounds running routes the way that he does is insane. Oh! Hey, man, I tell you what, there's been some crazy one-handed catches. I wasn't in the booth earlier, but I saw the one earlier from, uh, I believe it was it was Deuces. And I tell you what, dude, like, some of these catches that these kids are making, it's, it's ridiculous. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, about Davon Mitchell, Alabama, Georgia, Michigan offers. Have fun choosing with those three. Yeah. I, and I, I guarantee you there's a list of, like, 30 more that, that are begging to get his services. It's, he is a ridiculously good player. And, and I saw him play with Los Al in November, and he showed out there, too. It was a tough game for them, but he still looked good. Touchdown! What a catch! Touchdown! Here they go. 940 Elite. Here they go. 940 Elite. And I think, uh, oh, they're they're coming over here to the, bro no, they're not coming over they're here. They're calling it back. They're calling it. Oh, what happened? Oh, no. Touchdown. Hey, touchdown. It's a touchdown. Yeah, it's nine a touchdown. 9-7. Nine, 9-7. Seven. Nine, seven. Seven. You know, my Dallas boys, I got I to gotta give them some credit, you know. They all came out here. It's a long, hard flight to Phoenix, Arizona <laughs> from Dallas. <laughs> Oh, man. Drops back. What a time. And EPS Blaze says, anything you can do, <laughs> I can do better. Hey, I tell you what, this quarterback, kind and Mata, this dude is a problem. That is two dimes that he just said. And also, phenomenal scheme. I mean, like, you had a, you had a nice little wheel route on the first on the first drive. Yep. And now you go back to a wheel route on the other, other side. side. And it's just perfectly placed. These guys are running wide open. And, and 940's got to figure out this defense. Uh, they are leaving some, some wide open holes over there. <laughs> Mana is only 5'9", 150. He's class of 2026. Let's take a look at both touchdowns. And he's carving them up. He is carving them up. Mana from the left, Mana from the right. 940 Elite back to work here quickly. And they're picked Ooh. off. They are picked off EJ Franklin. Intercepted. To the pit. And we have Damn. scoring and a flurry right now. This is crazy because I think the strength of this team, the 940 Elite team, is definitely... It's, it was definitely going to be their, their offense. Yep. They've come out here, been stopped on the first drive with a three and out, and now throwing a pick on their third drive. And in OT7, that can, that can really hurt you. Getting defensive stops is really rewarded because now we're looking at this score. It's a 19-7 to game. The scoring can really, really add up quickly here. OT7, quick swings. I mean, we had one touchdown, two touchdowns, quick pick. All of a sudden, 19-7 game, just five minutes in, and Mana is back to work. Was that Metcalf that just got that pick? Uh, I think that it was. No, that that was EJ Franklin. EJ Franklin got it. Can okay, you hear me? Yes, yes. Sniper, is that you? 
Okay, I thought we had our the third member of our booth, Sniper Jones. Yeah. Hey, it's oh, live out here, man. It's oh, live, hey. bro. Hey, next touchdown, I'm hopping in. A, I'm hopping in a pit with him. Hey, okay. well, well, welcome to the party, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sniper, if you get in that pit, I'm gonna be like the only person that hasn't been able to jump in there yet. Bro, I'm listen, be my, they, 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 listen. If they score again, I'm hopping in a pit. It's nothing's gonna stop me from hopping in this pit. <laughs> Look, I did that last year at OT7 season one in Vegas. I'm just saying. Be the last one to jump in the pit, or else you will get trampled. Because yeah. it happened to me, and there's pictures and videos of it. All complete. What a dime, man. Tight, I'll tell you what. Tight windows, window. windows. Kyler Mata is putting the ball where it needs to be for such a small quarterback, man. I tell you what, these guys are, these are electric. These throws are electric. In heavy traffic over the middle. Kane and Mana. Yeah, no, this is this has been ridiculous. You know, you never want to judge a book by its cover, but when he took the field at 5'9, 150, mm -mm. class of 2026. 20, and I tell you what, bro, the shorter <laughs> quarterbacks today have been kind of eaten. Like <laughs> the short quarterback, uh, he's a quarterback at Bishop Gorman in, in Las Vegas. He's a quarterback for Trillion Boys. Uh, his name is slipping me right Mana now. Looks he was left. bad accurate. Complete Ooh. down to the two. Elijah Garrick. Nah, he's definitely dotting right now. I'm not going to hold you. Yeah, he is not missing. I, has he thrown an incompletion yet? I'm going to try to get him on the vibe. You got to get him on the vibe. I got to, because he in the but, vibe right now. But he, he's he in the rhythm. Zone. But he's in the rhythm. I need you to throw him off so my Dallas boys can win, honestly. Know, <laughs> know, knowing Sniper, he's going to go in the huddle and ask him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, nah, I can't do that. They're going to kick me out the huddle. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't on a team like that. <laughs> so if you're EPS Blaze, you got to mix something up here. You know, they're, they're still going man-to-man, -man, which, you know, you mostly see. Maybe next drive, maybe mix in some zone. I don't know. Got to mix up something. Rolling right. Got Easy his man. touchdown, man. EPS is in Are they going pit? Are they going right pit? Now. They go, I go. Going to the pit. They ain't going. They ain't going. They ain't going. No pit. Business <laughs> okay, as usual. Okay, me. Business as usual for EPS Blaze, who goes up 26 to 7. And just like that, 940 Elite is desperate. Things are, getting ugly right score. Now. Things are definitely getting ugly for these guys right now. But, hey, I'll tell you what, this Dak Prescott-led group has come out here mad composed, making plays on defense, making plays on offense, and they are just in a rhythm. Hey, yo, I got, I got Kanan with me right now, bro. You are in the zone right now, bro. Can you talk to us about, I don't even think you got an incompletion this entire day. Sir, uh, you know, coming after the first two games, we had a couple rough outings. And I just, you know, I talked to the team once we got a little break. You know, I let them know we come out here. We come all over, all from the other side of the country. We got to show what we're capable of. So once we come out here, you know, we got to get some energy, at least get a win out here. You feel me? So once we get going, you know, once we get a rhythm, it kind of turns up the energy and we look good out here. I see you with your chain on, the swag up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how important is that, like, to your, to your game? I just think I try to be as flashy as possible while still being, you know, under control. So as long as we keep scoring, we're going to keep looking good with some swag. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, my boy. Lock in, man. Back to y'all at the booth. Hey, he said, look good, play good. Green. <laughs> hey, I like this kid. I like this kid a lot. We have a third down here for 940 Elite. I'm beginning to get the feeling that this is like a make or break play right here, and there's still 13 minutes left in this game. I mean, th just as a reminder, you get three downs here at OT7. They're taking a shot up the middle. He's got his man for seven. The Messiah. 940 Elite. Messiah Washington. He's not wearing a number right now, but I'm telling y'all right now, that's number eight, Messiah Washington, wide receiver from Allen, Texas. What an absolute dot there from Michael Hawkins. That was, that was a ridiculous funny. ball. From the 40, when you needed exactly it most. When you needed, needed it most, too, a clutch throw out there, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we, uh, just 30 seconds ago, we're talking about this being a make-or-break play, and now it's back to being a two-possession game with the money drive still looming which we'll get into in a second. Kanemana wants more, takes a shot. He's wide open again. Touchdown. Did he hold on? Oh, incomplete, incomplete. Oh, he dropped it at the end. What a phenomenal effort, though. What I tell a you what, throw. this quarterback. We're gonna need to take another look at that. That was on the money. That was so Mata. close. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he has it. Uh... Yeah. It's a great play by the Knocked DB. Knocked out late. Great Knocked play by out the late. DB. Man. Back to work here. Second down. Looks like they are going to a zone now. Mata doesn't care. Y'all see that play action? That's the show and go right there, bro. <laughs> They're Give getting everything they want right now, Sniper. Giving them a little razzle-dazzle out there. Yeah, no, I think switching to zone is definitely the move for them out here. I. 
early on it's just seemed that they're not capable of holding up with these uh, with these athletes from the boot right now, man. And I tell you what, Louisiana will sneak up on you. That that Cajun flavoring in the gumbo will sneak up on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I, I realized why Mana has such a cannon. He's also a baseball player. That makes sense. He's, he's got an arm. That makes he's sense. He's got an arm. Yeah, no, that's that. That's that. I'm on second base, turning and ripping a hole through the first baseman's glove type, type, type arm strength that he's got. Wonder how? I mean, five nine, 150, How does he have an arm like that? He's also a baseball. Player. Tight formation. I think a run might be coming. Here's the blitz. Dumps it off. Oh, complete. Dangerous for a right gain there. of just about none, but each team, just as a reminder, gets two blitzes. They pick up the first down. Each team gets two rushes, two blitzes. So uh, good job evading there by Mana to escape the blitz. It's looking like a run right there. I tell you what, though, EPS came out with a scheme for the big game on the big field, man. Like they have, they have had guys running wide open downfield all game, forced forced 940 to switch up their coverages, and and now we're seeing the uh, the effects. They are going to have to start making some shorter throws, and I want to see if Mana can keep composed whenever those those windows are getting a little bit more tight. 940 has five four stars, one five star a handful of three stars, and they're chasing the lead right now. Hey, Snipe, what do you, what's going on down there? All right, we'll come back to you. Mana back to work. Looks right. Throws right on the money. And they are killing with these wheel routes, dude. Killing with them. That's another first down, dude. What does 940 have to do? I mean, they they they've gotta they've gotta they've gotta find something out out here because Mana is just in a rhythm. But that's the bad thing. Whenever you let a quarterback get off hot, bro, they usually stay in that in that sort of rhythm. Now you got a baseball player with a live arm out here, just <laughs> just rifling the ball everywhere. Just over nine minutes remaining. It's a running clock here at OT7. Mana's looking right already. We know where this is going. Rolls right. Throws touchdown. Tack on seven with a flip into the pit. It's too easy for him. Where's Snipe at? Snipe said he was going to jump in that pit. Yeah. Well, Snipe, Snipe said he was going to jump in that pit. Uh, Snipe a little tentative to jump yeah, in after Snipe, my warning. Hey, 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 I'm, too far, I'm too far from the pit uh, right now, bro. Snipe, I ain't doing it. I'm too far. Oh, right there now, you are. I see you Snipe, over, you over the 940 today. sideline. You got to get them knees up now, bro. You got to <laughs> show hey, us hey, all hey, that athleticism. Hey, like 30 yards away from me, bro. I ain't one of these wide <laughs> receivers, man. I can't do it. <laughs> so we have the money drive here for 940 Elite. So what that is on this drive, each team only gets one money drive. If they score, tack on 10 points. But if they don't, if they turn it over, four points for the defense. If they get picked off, six points for the defense. So this is a huge possession for 940 Elite. I think they ran out of time there. Yeah, unfortunately. It'll be, it'll be second down here. Yeah. So if you, you know, if you think here, they score 33, 24, they're yeah. back in business. This drive is really the game here. You are back in business. The thing is you definitely need a stop on your next possession, no matter what. And yep. I think that's why they're going money drive right now. Uh, it's, it's going to be a tough thing to come back, especially when you start off so slow in this game, but we'll see if Michael Hawkins can do it. This man has a, a, a uber talent at tight end out there playing with him. And they're QB going right to McKinney. him. Goodness, I, I swear I thought he was going to hurdle him right there. <laughs> he just looked like he was swearing up the hurdle, dude. Davon Mitchell, just a physical specimen, 6'4", 245. That's the five-star we were talking about. Sitting on Bama, Georgia, and Michigan offers. Sheesh. I'll tell you what, though. EPS has been doing a phenomenal job playing defense. They got DK Metcalf's cousin out here playing corner, number four. He's the one right now. He, he's, he's got the task of guarding Devon Mitchell. Yeah, let's look at this matchup to the left. Oh, here's the blitz. Incomplete pass Complete. the middle. And that is and that's a, a turnover on the third and short. Man. Wow. Wow, Man. wow, wow. Tack on four, and we have a 37-14 game. On the money drive, that's a killer. Wow. Yeah, I think that's the beginning of the end. Man, my Dallas boys, you got to do a little better than that. Come on, guys. Hey, credit to EPS Blaze, bro. They came out representing the Louisiana. This is a real rivalry. If you're not from down there, you know, you you, you wouldn't really understand, but I'm telling you, it's those it's those kids that are uh, that are in the Houston area you can tell you all about the rivalry between them and Louisiana. Oh, wait, I thought you were from the Dallas area. I am from the Dallas area, but I'm telling you, like, the kids in Houston, some of those kids, you know, like, they they just, they really beef with those kids from, like, Lake Charles, Lafayette, yep, that yep. area. It's, 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 it's not that far of a drive away, so sometimes they're playing each other in the in, come fall time and, and when, the, when the pads are on, and it's a... Uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. 
But yeah, I'm usually rocking with the with the Texas teams, but today you gotta you gotta give credit where it's due. EPS has come out and just started cooking. Team led by Coach Sean Pitcher. Yep. Kind of coming right out there. coming out flying. These dudes have been killing it all game. Just Absolutely over six good. minutes left. And they're up big right now. One more score will probably put this one away. Man. You know, you look up and down the EPS Blaze roster, not a lot of high recruits. You got Kenny Worthy, the DB, three-star. EJ Franklin, the DB, a three-star. And like I'm saying, dude, like they, they're not going to be highly rated sometimes coming out of Louisiana. But I guarantee you when they get to the next level and, and in performance, like in settings like this, you see how good they really are. Like, yep. I, I, I keep mentioning, uh, like I mentioned it earlier, Justin Jefferson, two-star recruit out of, out of high school. But, you know, when he got to LSU, who's who was touching him? Yep. Nobody. <laughs> so, I don't know. These, these, kids, these kids from Louisiana have just got, they've got that dog in them. <laughs> go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. You got that tiger in them. Go, go Tigers. <laughs> Shout out, Coach O. Shout out, Coach O. Always <laughs> Coach O. Always Coach O. Mana back to work. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. He'll be third down here for Blaze. I should have been just calling them Blaze. Blaze is so much cooler than EPS Blaze. Blaze definitely is cooler than EPS. Do we know what EPS stands for yet? No. I, no, yeah, I, don't, no. I don't think, just I don't think we know. I don't even think, yeah, Just Blaze is crazy. <laughs> they should be called the Just, just Blaze. Just Blaze is, should definitely be the name of it, for sure. <laughs> but yeah. Third down. 940 Elite would love a stop here. Looking left, looking right. My Got man. his man. I tell you what, bro, for, for a freshman, for a freshman, kind of mana like patrols the field. He's really progressing through 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 what he, or, or his reads, and he and he's getting from left to right. That's caught by Brett Es Eskilderson, excuse me, going to Army in two years. We got first and goal from the two. All right, I'm gonna say two words, Davon. Mitchell. I'm calling it right now. Oh, we got a false start. Those were not the two. Those yeah, were no, not the correct two no, those words. Not three, yeah. <laughs> Davon Mitchell's, Mitchell's over there on the sideline right now. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, yeah. he is on the sideline. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well. Hey, yeah. if, if I was say, hey, but I'm gonna be honest with you, if I was 940, I put it, I put him on the field right now. <laughs> what what would it hurt? One yeah, guy that I have been, one guy that I have been kind of impressed with though, like Malik Hawkins, number seven, the the corner for for nine forty. Even though they they have been getting torched, he's been doing a pretty solid enough job in the, in, in defense. He's the brother of the quarterback, uh, Michael Hawkins. Yep. And Imani going out there. Another. Oh, oh, he held on to it. There we another go. Another touchdown, man. This is getting ugly. Man, three it's minutes Gilderson. left. Yeah, man, it's Forty-four to fourteen score right now. Oh, excuse me, Jalen Lewis, wow. How about this, though? How about OT7 right now, man? Weather is beautiful. These games have been amazing. I know we had a we had a tie last time. Tom was really upset about it. I I, I could never be in the booth for a tie. You know, there's just going to be nothing but but electric games going on with me. But <laughs> Unless 940 Elite has 30 points coming in the next two and a half minutes, I don't think we have to worry about a tie. Yeah, here. no. Dropping like, back, throwing deep. That's too long. Man. Too long over the top. It seems like they never found a rhythm in this game, to be honest with you. No, no, a couple stops, a couple scores, all of a sudden they're playing from behind, and that Blaze defense has been locking them up. Yeah. I believe we have our man Sniper Jones down there with EPS Blaze head coach Sean Pitcher. Snipe, what's going on? All right, Coach, man. Look like y'all handling business right now. Talk to us about the game plan and what y'all decided to do when y'all came in today. I know. The kids just had to have fun, man. You know, we had a long trip, long flights for everybody. You got kids coming from four or five different states, and uh, they just they finally get a chance. They got the music going. They're finally on this field. So it seemed like it done a little something to them. But uh, the, the game plan has been physical. Have fun. You know what I mean? We're in a whole new state, beautiful background, beautiful scenery. OT7, come on, man. It's your first time at the OT7. Right, so like, what's your experience? How you feel about the way the plays are? I mean, the opportunities out here, it's a lot of talent out here. It's a lot of talent out here, first class event. Got my players on their toes, you know what I mean? Uh, from everything, like I said, it's a, it's a great experience for the guys. Uh, glad we glad to be here. 
Last question, what does EPF stand for? Uh, elite Prospects Cup. I like that. I like that. All right, man, back to y'all at the booth. Y'all heard coach. Let's get it. Sniper Jones asking the questions we needed answered. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Just Blaze goes way harder. Just Blaze! <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Kieran, Kieran, you speak only facts. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I got to keep it a bean, bro. Like, yeah. Just, you say just, just Blaze, and there's a million different lines I could say after that. All just Blaze would be so tough. For that, for that. Oh, hey, no. I'm, I'm still hopping in, too. Don't think, don't think I forgot. I didn't <laughs> forget. I'm still jumping in. <laughs> you should jump in. Uh, you're hey, you're going to have to stick around for more OT7 content to see Sniper Jones get in the pit. Because right, hey. right now, he's all talk. Hey, I'm getting in the pit, man. We hey, got, hey, mark my words. I'm jumping in that all pit. Talk. Hey, we got 30 seconds, Snipe. If you ain't in that pit when the horn sounds, bro, I'm, I'm, we, we, I'm we got to have a problem. Hey, man. Look at that. My head wants more. Ooh. Hey, if they score, I'm jumping in. I'm telling you all right now, I'm going to run and start. You about to see a double tsunami backflip 3,000. I'm telling you right now, 12 seconds left. You know, Sniper, Sniper waited to the last second. Blaze is trying to get Sniper in this pit, too. They about to celebrate. There's the blitz. Escapes. Rolls right. Oh, Picked oh it's a pick. Picked up. Hey, man. That's how the ready, game went up. I was ready, man. You were that's, ready. That's Devin Owen on the pick, and that will do it. 44-27. E-P-S. Just Blaze. Just Blaze! <laughs> hey, that was, a, that was a dominant win. That was wow. actually a very dominant win. Um, you're not going to catch me in 4K saying that uh, Louisiana beat Texas in anything. But, uh, you know, it's it's all good. It's like they they had a good game. They got lucky. No, man, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I actually got that recorded in 4K just for this moment. No! <laughs> hey, for Kieran, for Sniper, I'm Overtime Day. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. We've got OT7 content coming all week. Stick with us for more. Peace.